What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Andy, the Destroyer Ruiz. Andy Ruiz wants an Anthony Joshua trilogy fight next, after Luis Ortiz. Andy Ruiz Jr. says that he wants a trilogy fight against Anthony Joshua if he wins September 4th against Luis King Kong Ortiz at the Crypto Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this is what he had to say. He said, Luis Ortiz hurt Deontay Wilder and almost became champion against him, said Andy. He said, a lot of people think Luis Ortiz is going to beat me, but I'm going to argue with them. Of course, there's the blood that needs to get back to because I won, I won AJ. Because I want AJ. And he, and he won and beat me on the second go around. I didn't do the right thing, said Ruiz. He says, right now, I feel I'm in the right state of mind. Either one would be good, said Ruiz, about either one would be good, said Ruiz, about him being interested in fighting Joshua or Wilder. He said, I just want the opportunity to get the belt, the WBC belt. That's the one I'm chasing for. If it's Wilder, Usyk, or Joshua again, whatever it takes, I just want the belt. I'm going to go for Tyson Fury against, let me stop there, okay, because that has nothing to do with him wanting Joshua, all right? And me counterpunching this, he, you know, reading here, he says, hey, of course, the WBC is the belt that I want. I would strongly disagree because if he wanted that WBC belt, he would have been campaigning for it this last two years, which he was not, Okay. And the whole article here is about him wanting a third fight with Anthony Joshua after he defeats Luis King Ortiz. First of all, if he beats Luis, Luis King Kong Ortiz, why would he want Joshua if he's after the WBC? Hmm, counterpunch. Because Anthony Joshua, okay, is was the unified champion, former unified champion of all the other belts, not the WBC. The WBC... You know, if he wants that, he needs to fight Deontay Wilder for it or Tyson Fury or something. But I feel that Andy Ruiz needs to fight these other opponents, these younger guys. You know, fight a Frank Sanchez. That'll earn you the right to be where you think you want to be again. You know, and I don't even see him winning that fight because he's, you know, his feet are not as fast. He has fast hands and, and slow feet. And someone like Cuban, the Flash, Sanchez, is going to show you how much Flash he has. And he's going to show Andy Ruiz every round that he's faster, quicker, even though I'm pretty sure they've sparred because they were in the Reynoso gym together. I don't see him winning that either. And let's look at Andy Ruiz for the last two years, all right? Andy Ruiz has been, 2020, he did nothing. But, you know, everybody rode the COVID train so much in 2020 you know, some did, some didn't, and Andy did, okay? He didn't, he lied and said, or he claimed that Dillian White and Eddie Hearn lied to him, okay, about the money, the $4 million from Dillian White, and they went back and forth, and, it, you know, it was a big shit show. Then he totally ducked Luis Ortiz, which, which was much older than Dillian White, and at that point, you start questioning, okay, well, how many people do you really want to fight? Because, you wouldn't get in four million to fight Luis Ortiz. In fact, he's not getting four million to fight Luis Ortiz this particular fight. And it's been two years later. I mean, it's actually been over two years. Because by the time he declined the Luis Ortiz fight in 2020, that was probably in April, May of 2020. You know, it could have been the summer at the latest. But if you look at that summer, then last year's summer, then this summer, that's over two years. So then you come back to revisit the idea of fighting someone that you clearly ducked over two years, and now you're ready to fight them. You know, I, th I say the chances are against you. And this is what will happen to Andy. If Andy doesn't win this fight, it's over. You can forget about Anthony Joshua. You can forget about talking about fighting Deontay Wilder or talking about fighting for the WBC because it really won't matter at that point. See, everything that Andy does now consists on him winning because he has a, he fought one time in three years, 
once in three years. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and actually, it was like this particular fight he's fighting now would be twice within almost in the three year bracket coming on the fourth year. Okay, because his last fight was in 2021, but it was in May. So it's like, okay, but then you did nothing the year before that. So if he does lose to an older Luis Ortiz, he's finished. And by right, he should be. Because that means, well, you only want the money. That means you only want to fight for a certain amount of money because of the money that you are, are were accustomed to having the year of 2019. You don't want to fight the best because if you had, you would have took the test, bars, and that, that didn't happen either. So... You know, I look at Andy Ruiz, he had a lot of potential, but then a lot of things that we began to see about Andy was that he is lazy. He was lazy and he didn't want to challenge and he got complacent and then he felt entitled. You know, even he fell out with Eddie Reynoso in his camp because they were saying that he wasn't doing enough. Now he's not, he's not with them at all. You know, even Canelo said that, you know, like, well, hey, he doesn't do enough. You know, the surgery that he had, that's why he couldn't fight Luis Ortiz last year. And those those type of things. And everybody knows Luis Ortiz, one of his worst problems and his only problem at this point in time is his age. You know, and if you can bank on that, I think you're banking on a, um, a pretty safe to say victory. But then again, whoever knows, because this is boxing, the sport that I love that I hate so much, right? So we don't know what happens. But I'm going for Luis Ortiz, but I bank that Andy Ruiz will beat Luis Ortiz. I will do a further breakdown maybe tomorrow on these two fighters. You guys tell me what you think of Andy Ruiz wanting an Anthony Joshua trilogy fight. Please subscribe, and you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace!